welcome to a 5.30 a.m. whipping chat. Um, since, since our last episode on here, um, I've actually gotten a couple of things. One, I was able to get my parchment paper to be able to really line this up a little bit better. So I could cut it up into sections to better um, <clears throat> organize what I'm going to work on. Two, I've actually progressed quite a lot since you last saw that little quarter. <laughs> Um, my mother-in-law was able to take my children, so I had a couple of hours while they would just bang out a good amount of this. I also got my new diamond storage. Oh, I love these. They're like little cylinders that screw, and I just like write the little taggies on there, and it's just so much better than the ones I was using before. I like them. Yeah, cause they're also individual, so I can. Before they were all like four in a row, and they were connected. They're around here somewhere, but I don't really know what's been going on. Well, I do, cause it's my life. Um, so for the last couple of days, I went to. I was able to um, get a chance to go to the store to go to Ikea to get some things for the house, which is much needed. Um, some new stuff for laundry, I need for my basement, I new sheets. I love Ikea sheets because their pockets are so deep. Um, for the fitted sheets, we have a king-size bed, as I've mentioned, and one, sheets for king-size bed, especially the nice sheets for king-size bed ridiculously expensive um but ikea has them there for like 30 dollars um sometimes so i get these really i like them so i like the way them feel i'm a big material person so if i don't like the way it feels i'm not buying it but i got a lot of um i like sometimes it's a little bit rougher i like a little bit of a more rougher fabric than like smooth silky. Like, I don't like silky sheets. I like them to slip right off all the time. And they do have these like more rougher sheets, if that makes sense. But the pockets are deep. That's another issue I have with uh, some sheets when I buy cheaper sheets. That the pockets really aren't that deep on the fitted sheet. So they're always like rising up. So I'm always fixing the sheet back over the mattress and that's annoying and then I got a new duvet cover as well I we never used to put a duvet cover over our duvet we just use it as a blanket which I feel like most people do I can't think of very many people I, I know that have a duvet and maybe a duvet cover over their duvet and maybe that's just me living that uh poor people life I don't know <laughs> or classless life me and my classless friends and associates but no one I really know has a duvet cover and but I bought I bought one last time I was at Ikea and I love it because it kind of like switches up the room a little bit and our duvet is not old but it, it's definitely like I probably should probably get a new duvet is really what it is. But those are expensive too. Um, but it's like not white anymore. It's not a hundred percent white. It's definitely like a off white color now from I don't even know how it happened. Well, I do know. I eat in bed. I have a problem. It's a real problem. I don't eat in bed anymore. But especially when I was pregnant, I ate in bed a lot and I ate in bed before I was pregnant. It's a, it was a big thing between my husband uh, because I would fall asleep with snacks and he would have to come and wake me up and then we have to dust the bed for the crumbs. And he's like, this is disgusting tonight. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And you would find wrappers like on my side of the bed. Yeah, it was a problem. I, I don't do that as often anymore. So that's a, that's growth and progress in my life, I think. <laughs> um... But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having a little bit of a, a cough. One, because it's 5 o'clock in the morning, 
So my voice is just a little raspy. I'm doing all the twos right now, these little yellow ones, because then I don't have to keep reaching back and forth. I messed up my back. I have no idea how I did it, but it's hard for me to move my arm around a lot. Um, so this, doing one color at a time, is probably going to have to be how I do this for right now until I figure out what the heck I did was meant to my back and fix it. Uh, what else did I get at Ikea? Um, I got a lot of stuff I don't, I didn't go in there for. I went in for sheets and storage for laundry, and I left with stuff I didn't need. Uh, or stuff that I didn't really bargain on getting. All stuff I need for the house, it's just I wasn't planning on getting it at that time. Or he's just rolling around in bed. One of the two. Because our bed is right above our living room. Our bedroom is right above our living room. So I can hear him when he is moving around the room. But regardless, um, what else did I get at Ikea? I'm trying to now also be kind of quiet. <laughs> um, oh. oh, he is coming down the stairs. Anyway, um, I, what else did I get at the store? Oh, I got, um, I got plush vegetables for my, my daughters. I keep wanting to call them my sisters. This is like, I'm going to refer to them as my siblings. That just tells you how much I've, like, cared and mothered my siblings that I do refer to them. I think of them like children. I'm, I'm the oldest. So... Anyway, um, I bought some plush stuff for my children to play with, and um, like plush vegetables and fruits and stuff, because I bought them, like the stuff from Melissa and Doug, but that stuff is like hard and rock and wood, well it's not rock, it's just it's wood, it's hard wood. <laughs> Um, and they were actually throwing it around like a ball, and I don't want them to break something. So I decided I was just going to trade that out for some soft plush stuff, and they seem to enjoy it right now. Oh, it was a big thing when they opened them up yesterday, so I'm excited for them to be excited. They keep trying to make a restaurant <laughs> and bringing me food and making their little kitchen set into a restaurant. So, I'm excited for them to be excited for new imagination and toys and just wherever the, their minds may lead them. Um, having children is so much fun to like watch them become their own people and have developed personalities and just, just be people, um, if that makes sense. Because they came in the world as these little itty bitty bundles that know nothing, and you're trying to teach them. And over the course of a year or two years, they literally develop their own personalities and and mannerism and speech patterns. And I can just tell, like, it's crazy how two people who were raised by the same two people can be two totally different people. My daughters are completely different people. And I want to instill and, and foster and cultivate their own development as their own people individually without trying to make them seem like a monolith and make them be the same because oh, they're both the same family. Um... This is what we do in this family because this is how families or how our family is. I, I don't want to ever, like, diminish their light as long as they're not hurting anybody or, like, bullying or killing someone. Like, I, I don't care what they do with their life as long as it's not hurting anyone. 
Um, so I never ever want them to feel that or hurting themselves, I guess would also be a good thing. I don't want them to ever hurt themselves. So I don't really care. As long as they're living a healthy, happy life, they can do whatever they want. And I'll definitely be there 100% to make sure that they love everything that they do. Um, my, my babies. My babies are my everything. It's, it sounds so like cliche to say, but my babies really are just my world. But what else did we do at Ikea yesterday? It was crazy at Ikea. Um, oh, oh God, I had a side table for the for their room. Um, something to put in between their beds. I got just lots of stuff that I probably could have done without. Um, we also did grocery shopping this weekend I hate and love grocery shopping um I hate being around people so I hate that about grocery shopping but I hate that ordering groceries cost so much money like I wish I could just have free delivery and I'll just tip the delivery person like a, like a good amount of money but also not just that they also jack up the prices of the items when you do delivery, I'm like, I know for a fact if I went into the store that this juice that I'm about to buy is not this expensive. Why are you charging me more to deliver it to my home? Um, more for the item. I can understand like a delivery fee, a surcharge fee, and like add it onto the total, but why are you charging me like a dollar more for this juice and then also charging me a surcharge fee and a, a um, a delivery chart that make that make sense. Like I wanted to order. We have a um, like a fast food restaurant near us, and I wanted to like, do DoorDash or whatever on it. And the meal was a dollar. Like the meal I wanted to get were a dollar fifty more than if I just drove down the street to get them. And then when then they were also gonna charge like. I think it's like six dollars for f- for fees and like surcharges or whatever. I'm thinking, why? What? What is the purpose of that? I'm al- you're already charging a surcharge when you jacked up the price of the meal. I know how much the meal costs. I'm, it's just really sad that I've been there enough that I know what the meal cost. <laughs> but I digress. Um, do, 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 do. I got a lot of good cleaning done also. I was able to disinfect their room a little bit. Um, vacuum and clean. And clean the baseboards behind their bed. Uh, we had switched my youngest to a toddler bed, but behind her mat, um, her, where her crib used to be, there was... Um, like this grossness on the baseboard back there because I'm an awful person and I hadn't moved really the crib for a while so there was like this grossness there when we took the crib out but now the crib is living in my bedroom um, because we were going to store it in the basement where we put all the other baby stuff but then the flooding happened around the same time we switched her over to um, her toddler bed so I didn't want the crib to get messed up so I left the crib upstairs in our bedroom so it's just been living in our bedroom for about a month now (laughs) and it's kind of getting annoying in there (laughs) Annoying is an understatement, but hopefully now that the basement's better, I will be able to put it down there. Um, I'm still wary. I'm actually still waiting for my cousin who is having a baby for um, him to 
tell me, hey, I want your crib so I can just give him the crib. I was holding it onto it for a maybe, you know, just in case. But we came to the realization like a week or so ago that it's just not feasible. Um, having two high risk pregnancies, but you know, in case we adopt a child, I guess they may should keep some baby stuff around. But it's just the, having the two high risk pregnancies. It we just realize it's just not something that we want to go through again. Um, the possibility of my health especially being a black woman in America and how the healthcare system treats us so I don't want to risk losing my baby or my baby's losing me so let's get out of that little morbid topic and back onto some more fun topics um funny side story so we had a pumpkin that my mother-in-law gave us. I'm just thinking about this because of the orange here. But we had a um, this pumpkin that my mother-in-law gave us back in October, I want to say. And we were supposed to carve it up. We were not going to do that because it's huge. It was a huge pumpkin. And we were just like, now nah, we're not going to do that. So instead of we did was we put it on our front porch as like harvest decorations. And it lived there until yesterday. Um, when we officially looked at it and we like, okay, we really need to get this pumpkin off our porch. Because it was melting. Um, <laughs> it was like collapsed into itself. It was nasty. Um, I'm really upset that we let it get to that point. So, yeah, I am an awful homeowner as well, an awful neighbor, because I'm pretty sure my neighbors were walking by the house just like, when, when are they going to get that pumpkin off of the property? And then all the UPS delivery people and FedEx people and... And all the delivery people in general were probably just walking onto the porch like, ugh, this pumpkin. So I'm sure they're going to be really stoked that it's gone. But, ugh, just, I sometimes I do feel like the worst neighbor in the world. Um, we don't really, our neighbor next door, we only have one neighbor, really. Um, we don't have anybody on the other side of us. So we actually only really have one neighbor. And he's amazing. He's great. Um... He's like the best neighbor we've ever had in our life. We used to live in our car with people, like in an apartment. And those neighbors were kind of iffy. And, but these, this guy is like the best neighbor I've ever had. Me personally, and I'm pretty sure, and my husband like, also like the best neighbor he's ever had prior to us living together. Or anything like that. So, he takes care of his lawn very well, our neighbor next door. Um, he's always out there doing lawn stuff, and we're just not lawn people. Um, we mow it so that it's not overgrown, but we don't do that, like, take care of your grass and make your grass super green and lush. We're just not those kind of people. So, our lawn looks like crap next to his. <laughs> Absolute crap. And sometimes... My husband doesn't go out every other week like he's supposed to in the summertime to mow the lawn. So it will become like a slight field of of grass right there. And we're just like, eh, about it. And I feel really guilty. And I'm even guilty because like of our lawn. I feel guilty for how our neighbor must feel looking at our lawn like that's where my guilt is and I was just like babe please go out into the lawn so that like so that the neighbors aren't like mad about our lawn (laughs) like 
like I'm not even going out asking people if they to make the lawn look nice for us. I make asking people if they make the lawn look nice for them. <laughs> uh, I'm actually quite impressed with myself because in the last video, I really didn't do a lot. Because I only got that one corner down. Even in an hour video, I was only able to get that one corner down. I'm doing more in the few minutes I've gotten here than I feel like I did in that little corner. So I'm proud of myself for getting into a groove of being able to talk and do the diamonds. I think it comes with doing one color at a time. I think last time I was trying to do a bunch of colors at the same time. And that just like kind of messed me up. So I'm going to stick to this one color thing for a while. But, oh my goodness, my poor back. My poor little back. I'm really not. It's really not doing so well right now. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to cut this short soon. But I'm going to try to finish up the fours and the twos here. And I think I have threes already out. So... Um, but I just am fascinated by life right now. Another exciting thing that's happened is that I got my new vacuum. So that, I'm actually going to do a little unboxing video for that. So if you want to, um, see what type of vacuum I got. You can check out that video. It's probably going to be in the vlogging and lifestyle playlist that I have. Um, I'm also going to do a Ikea haul if anyone's actually interested in the crap I got from Ikea. <laughs> um, so that will also be in the vlogging and lifestyle um, playlist that I have. Um, but I really love the idea of a new vacuum. I have been stalking and looking for one. Got this one on Bed Bath and Beyond. I oops. I can you can you be on the sticky please? Thank you. Thank you so much, little diamond. Um I found it by chance on actually Target's website. I it was it was the weekly ad for Target and I saw it there and I was, and I was like because they went at 150. It was originally, oh, I think I did over yours. Um, it was originally, like, one ninety nine, but they were doing a sale for one, for one fifty, and I was just like, ooh, that's a good deal for that, vacuum, and then I was like, well, let me see if we, it was on Bed Bath & Beyond, because I have the Bed Bath & Beyond Plus membership, it was $29 for the year, and you get a 20% coupon every single time you go. I was like, that sounds awesome. And you get free shipping, and like a couple other things. But those were the two things that majorly sold for me. This, um, this membership. So I did it, and guess what? So when I got, I found the vacuum on their website, and it was also $149 on the website. Then I was able to add on the 20% off coupon. It came down to $119. I was like, that's amazing. And they also, I'm like really selling these people. I probably should um, do a partnership. I promise I am not doing a partnership with them. Um, but then I, as somebody with as little views and as little subscribers as I have, is doing a partnership with anyone. But then they, um, they also offer what is it after pay so you can actually break the payment up over four payments because i was just like i don't think it really we really got like i just went to ikea spent a couple hundred bucks at ikea like i don't want to spend more money um so i was able to do the breakdown and only pay them like 30 dollars right now and i'll pay like the rest over time, or I just actually pay it off all completely on Friday when I get paid. But regardless, if I wanted to break it up, I could just break it up. So I'm actually very impressed with this whole vacuum purchase, and I am excited to actually get to using it. I took it out of the box last night, but I didn't get to use it because the kids were already asleep. So once they wake up this morning, I'm going to test it out, vacuum, get really into this. The only gripe I have with the vacuum is that it doesn't come with a storage plate. So it's an 
I'm like, how am I supposed to stand it up? How am I supposed to put it there if it doesn't come with the storage plate? But okay. So, oh, I don't have any really of these. Wait, it's oh, put down first on six six. Almost said the third one there. Anyway, but I'm really excited about the vacuum. I, I love getting new cleaning supplies and stuff for the house. It makes me feel whole when I get like new things. Like, first one, I'm testing out new cleaning products. I've been testing a lot of new cleaning products lately. Um, I've been check, check, testing out and checking out like the method products. I had never heard of this. Now, um, I come from an old school black family where you use bleach bleach um bleach and ammonia to clean everything that is what you use um that is what i grew up on using to the point where like i really when i moved out and got my own like home i really didn't think about like what cleaning products to use in my home so what did i do i went to the store i bought a bottle of bleach i bought clorox stuff i bought like just the stuff i remember my mom using in the house um like Clorox and Comet and just the, the five staples of a of a black people's um cleaning supplies. Like I don't know. And then like as I started getting my own like stuff in order, I still use like I feel like there's just some stuff that you just need. Bleach and Clorox and um ammonia in comment like there are just some things you just need those products for but I have branched out and I started using some other products uh, mainly the method stuff and I love like the smell of some of their stuff I use oh my god get just be with your friends jeez um I use this lime and sea salt like a surface cleaner it smells so good but here's a fun thing I actually learned. Um, if it doesn't say it disinfects, it doesn't disinfect. So when people are like, using like, surface cleaners to clean where they have raw chicken, um, it just makes that bacteria smell good. The bacteria is still there. It just now smells fun. Um, and <laughs> I... <laughs> I find that so funny because I'm thinking I'm like, okay, so as much as like some of these products and these like earthy and green and friendly products may be good for the environment, it doesn't disinfect, like find like a disinfectant, something that's going to kill the germs, especially nowadays. Um, I find it so funny that after like COVID hit, I used to like remember when I went to like the Walmart or the target in my area, how, like, all the earthy and green, and, like, like, the Myers and, the, like, those products were always, like, gone, but the Clorox and the bleaches were all there, and that was a complete 180 after the pandemic, like, hey, I went into the target, there were no Clorox wipes, there was no bleach, but there were plenty of those Mrs. Myers products. So I just found that kind of comical <laughs> that we were like, oh, real germs are here. I need to get a real disinfectant for my home. But <sighs> this time has been insane um, in terms of everything that's been going on and all the, the craziness. So, I'm really just like, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm really just over it. And I'm over having, like, people who don't care about it being a thing. I really, it just bothers me. That people are just really just like, it's not a thing. Um, like, it's a real fear. It's a real fear of mine. And it's a real fear of, like, I know, I know people who have had COVID. I know people who have died. And... It's just like, 
when people really don't want to take it seriously. It just, like, really makes me want to, like, punch people in the face. But, you know, you can't do that because that's illegal. So, don't go around punching people in the face. Disclaimer. Um, I just, I'm frustrated. And I get everyone's a little frustrated. So, I'm just ready for people, for things to go semi back to normal. Because nothing is going to go 100% back to normal. It's just not. I feel like if we all just gave up that idea that it's eventually going to go back to normal... I think our minds would be good because it's not going to go back to normal. It's just not. Um, there, will, there will always be like a little bit of a mask wearing situation, social distancing. Um, I think the best thing that probably came out of this was the like remote learning, or not remote learning, but the remote like work from home. Um, and maybe even a little bit of remote learning. Like I. Depending on people's cases and situations and depending on family dynamics, like I feel like it allowed some families to spend more time together. Um, I feel bad for any child that was in an abusive situation during this time or any like spouses or partners who are in an abusive situation. Like that is something that we really need to be taking care of. But in terms of like families spending time together, and really spending time together, I feel like that is something, like, I spend more time with my children during this time, time that they would normally have been in daycare, and somebody else would have been raising them, I got to see all their milestones, and this past year, and that, like, was amazing, and I loved that, so, and we got to, like, play, and do things, and, like, I bought them, um, a playground outside, and we, like, we went on walks, and we saw, like, nature, um, like, obviously, I come from a side of privilege where I, have like, have a decent family, but, and I, I, like, my heart breaks for people who, who don't, it really just, it breaks for those people, and I'm always just, like, well, I'll be your family, <laughs> like, anybody who comes from, like, a, like, a, like, I'll be your family, <laughs> Is it a three? I can't, I can't find it. I can't, I can't tell. I think it is. But. Goodness gracious. I'm mad I didn't see those sevens. Um, life is interesting. It really is. And I truly am in awe of, like, everything around us to a certain degree that's going on right now. Just, but I do kind of hear the remnant of it of a stir um so i will actually be probably ending this little whipping chat right here and i thoroughly appreciate anyone who sat down and watched and um did this with me um if you worked on your own pieces that was great and i would love for you to like I don't know, send them, like, send me a picture. My email is somewhere around here. I'll, I'll put it in the description. Um, or you can send it to me on my social media. My Instagram is also in the, will be in the description. So, but I thoroughly enjoy this. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.